When I was about 12 or 14 years old, somebody gave me the opportunity to push the space bar on a Sunday morning and advance the lyric slides. I was hooked and I credit that moment to all of the ministry opportunities I've had the opportunity to do through production, through sound, video, lighting, through the teams that I now get to lead on our production here at our church. But it all comes back to that moment. And I've learned over the years that there's a lot more to running lyrics than you may have thought. Definitely more than I thought when I started. Lyric slides are definitely visual, not musical, but running lyric slides are super similar to playing the song chords. The sooner you as a purpose operator recognize the power of lyrics in leading the congregation, the sooner you realize that you are one of the primary worship leaders in the room. The way you display the lyrics for sure influences how the congregation, how first time guests engage with the worship. So in this video, I've got 10, I think, tips for running lyrics to help you lead your congregation in worship. So my first tip is to know the songs. Preparation is so crucial that we have to be present at rehearsal night to understand the flow and any changes that might occur. And if you don't get a chance to do rehearsal night like I didn't for years, try to set up these lyrics at home on your own computer and then bring them to church ready to go. Talk to your worship leader, worship pastor, whoever's leading, and try to get your best outline, their best outline of what they're going to be leading and how they're going to be leading it. Listen to the songs a few times before rehearsal and make sure that you know the songs well, even if it's not your favorite songs. <laughs> so my second tip is to understand the musical side. Try to understand the musical, not just the technical. Knowing when to go to the next slide so much depends on the tempo and flow of the song, whether it's a 4-4 time signature or a 6-4 time signature, and how the band uses the click track to stay on time. Non-musicians discover that the band has the click and the guide in their ears, and they're like, that is crazy. But most of these people don't understand the musical side and how the click is valuable and how the guide is so valuable in our worship experience. So my tip number three is to worship while working. If you're operating per presenter without engaging in worship, then you might find it challenging. You definitely will find it challenging. I have a friend who says, worship first, capture second. He is saying that our primary role is to be worshipers, but we also have a responsibility to those around us to worship through our service. So remember to worship while worshiping, always worship. The worship is what matters the most. My fourth tip is to listen for the last words. Always worship, like we said, but it's really easy to forget that you're actually running lyrics. And one trick that I use as I'm singing along, trying to not forget that I'm the one putting lyrics on the screen, how many times have we clicked through the lyric slides and you just start worshiping and then you realize, oh wait, I'm the one that changes those. I'm definitely singing along, but one trick that I use is that I look at and I listen for the last words of the slide. I find that so helpful. Look at the last words of any slide and then listen for those in your head. As you're singing, as you're worshiping, keeping those words in my head usually snaps me back to what I'm doing. Timing is everything. Switching slides at the right moment ensures the congregation can easily follow along. Number five is that lyrics lead the congregation. As a purpose operator, you are one of the primary worship leaders in the room. When you run the lyric slides effectively, you enable the congregation to fully engage in worship. Remember, worship is not just about watching others sing on the stage. It's an interactive experience aimed at praising God. Your role in displaying lyrics well is critical in helping everyone to participate and connect in the worship. Number six is that we should use blank slides. Sometimes we look at blank slides as a gap, not a tool. But in reality, blank slides really are a tool, not a gap. They help guide people through the song. It's really a good way to show the audience, hey, it's not time to sing when there's that extra bar measure between the music and between the next verse or chorus. A gap between any sort of longer musical breaks is really great when we have an empty blank slide. And if you don't have a blank slide, I would click back to a blank slide when you know that you need it. When you know the song, then you'll know when you need a blank slide. So number seven is that timing is everything. I usually tell people to switch slides on the second to last word of the slide, but it's more nuanced than that. An operator needs to know the song and then understand the basic music structure. And this helps you know when to rush into the next slide or when to take your time. 
Moving into the next slide. And I think that right there might be the core of this video, the most important content that I can say around this idea of how do we run lyrics properly. Let me say this again. This helps you know when to rush into the next slide or when to take your time moving into the next slide. Okay, so number eight, set up lyrics in order. You can practice all day, but if your song slides aren't in order, then you're gonna struggle. The goal is to set the song slides in order from the beginning to the end. If you aren't familiar with arrangements in ProPresenter and how they help you organize slides into groups and then groups in the song, then check out my video on that. And for the most part, you should be able to determine how the team is gonna lead each song. There will always be the chance that they're gonna be spontaneous and go back into a chorus or a bridge at the end of the song. But having a good relationship with your team allows you to get that information that you need to know the song order and have everything laid out as best as possible. Number nine is practice makes perfect. If you really want to get good at lyrics, then rehearsal night is a great time to get your fingers on that space bar. Beyond that, learning the process of setting up lyrics in ProPresenter and then practice on the church's computer or even on your own personal computer. On your personal computer, you can download ProPresenter from Renewed Vision's website. Its features are fully available, except that you're gonna see a watermark on the output but that's not even a big deal for what you're trying to do, just practicing. You can follow my YouTube video and practice setting up song lyric slides, then play the audio of the song through Spotify or YouTube, and while it's playing, click through the lyric slides in ProPresenter on your own. So number 10, if you've gone through and learned to set up songs in ProPresenter and you've taken all this information that I've given and you wanna take this one step further, you can learn the automation process of lyrics. And I think automation, if you wanna get really good at setting up lyrics, set up automation. Automation is done by using the playback app on an iPad or a computer or inside of Ableton Live if your church has that. And what you're gonna do here is set up MIDI notes that are then controlling, triggering slides in ProPresenter. If you don't use those at church, you probably don't have access to them at home, but you can simulate this for free using the timelines feature in ProPresenter. Click this button to open the timeline feature from any presentation item, so really any song. Then drag the audio file from your computer into the audio section. You can then click record, and as the audio file plays, go through and start automating slides for playback. When you're done, click start, and the audio and slides are gonna play together. This is a great way to practice your automation lyrics inside of ProPresenter. Thank you for watching this video. I know there's a lot of information here, but I think it's a lot of good information. If you found value in the video, give it a like. If you'd like to see more of my content, click subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.